it's a great pleasure to be here today. We have been working for this event for a long time, and uh, uh, we are finally starting with the Unpop International Colloquium. This is the Prey Colloquium Conference, um, and welcome you all at SESH, the Center for Social Studies of the University of Coimbra and at CINE. We have um, two keynote, sorry, two welcome addresses that will introduce you to both centers that cooperate in the organization of this event. Um, I just want to briefly um, thank the University of Coimbra, Sinei Kansesh, for allowing us to work on this project and to organize also this colloquium. To thank you all also for being here. Of course, it wouldn't make sense without you. And uh, I want to thank especially the representatives, the leaders, coordinators of the five consortia that are represented here today and that are going to introduce their uh, newly funded projects that are going to start or are just, have just started this month. And uh, um, I also have to thank, with great pleasure and honor, um, Beatrice Carbone and uh, um, Ge Georg Welzenburger for co-organizing with me and Lisette Monico uh, this event, um, which is a synergy meeting um, between projects that are focusing on political emotions. Um, the Protemo Consortia had its uh, kickoff meeting yesterday, so we have many colleagues from this consortia represented here, and uh, many partners. And uh, it's going to be also an opportunity for us to, to engage more within our own consortium. I also want to thank Anna Teixeira de Melo, Leo Cade, and Leticia Renault, who are not yet here but will be present because they are going to um, or they have organized and they are going to um, conduct, facilitate the afternoon session where the, the consortia will meet and operationalize and discuss how the synergy will go. Today we, we have a morning session which is um, actually a first presentation of these five consortia and um, it is also an opportunity to clarify uh, to the extent that is possible, uh, the way these consortia are going to are going to uh, operate uh, throughout the next three years, they are all funded by the European Commission uh, under the Horizon Europe Initiative. So, of course, I finalized the banking session with thanking also the funding um, entity uh, of all of these consortia, and now. I just uh, leave the floor to uh, Ana Cordero Santos, who is the president of the Scientific Council of the Center for Social Studies, for her welcome speech. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Yeah. Uh, good morning to all of you. I, on behalf of the, the research center, I would also like to welcome you all to, to our center and to Quimbra for all of those of you that come uh, from abroad. Um, I think uh, I want to start by congratulating uh, Cristiano and all the organizing team for, of this event. I think it is a, a wonderful idea to, to gather all of you here um, at the beginning of the, con of the five consortia. And I think it's, it's really a great idea and I hope that it will, I'm, I'm certain that it will uh, be very fruitful and that you can all um, uh, build up uh, partnerships and uh, uh, get new ideas right from the beginning of each, of each uh, consortium. So I, I want to congratulate the idea and wish that it indeed uh, will be a very fruitful um, starting point that will continue throughout the five years of each consortium. 
uh, and that you will, you will have a wonderful time here uh, here at at SES. Um, I would also like to welcome uh, the, the the leaders and the research team of each consortia, uh, CDAI, MORS, Pledge, CO3, Protemo, um, and would like just to uh, take this opportunity to uh, introduce you to, to the research center, SESH. Um, uh, I imagine that you already know a little bit about SESH, but I think this is an, an opportunity also to, to get to know each other more, uh, this research center, but also uh, uh, other partners. So, but I will start by uh, our research center. So, SESH uh, um, is a scientific uh, institution focused on research and advanced training within the social sciences, arts and humanities. And it, it, it uh, advanced its research through uh, an inter interdisciplinary approach. I think this is also what, what uh, uh, Protemo CO3 uh, uh, share, shares the same approach, but I think it will, it's, it, it will be a common, uh, a common feature across the consortium. Uh, SESH has been conducting research with and for an inclusive, uh, innovative and reflexive so society by promoting crea creative, critical approach in the face of some of the most urgent challenges of contemporary societies. And I think, you know, this, your research agendas on political emotions and democracy, it's a really example of the kind of research that we also carry out here at SESH, so I think you will be very, very, feel very um, welcomed and, uh, and um, uh, in tune with what, uh, what is the research agenda of SESH. Um, uh, so, uh, this is so because SESH scientific strategy indeed aims to democratize knowledge, revitalize human rights, and to contribute to the establishment of science as a public good. Uh, but SESH does so uh, through uh, a very uh, multiple, rich uh, research agendas, uh, having quite uh, extensive scope, both at the national and international uh, levels, just for, to give you an idea about the, the dimension of SESH, uh, SESH has about 150 researchers, 60 postdoctoral researchers, 70 junior researchers, 40 visiting and postdoctoral researchers, 50, 500 PhD students, 40 technical staff. Uh, its research is organized around five thematic Themes, um, uh, which are transdisciplinary and transversal, uh, and transversal uh, thematic clusters. To give you an idea, uh, it conducts research on semi peripheral capitalism focused on crisis and alternatives, uh, on democracy, justice, and human rights. On Europe and the Global South, heritage and dialogues, on risks, ecologies and health, and finally on urban culture, sociabilities and participation. So these are the, the five grand uh, research thematic lines of our research center. Besides the research that is carried out, uh, the center has also um, observatories which are very much focused on um, dialoguing with uh, policy makers uh, but, and it's a way in which our research becomes relevant to the society. Uh, it has uh, seven uh, working groups uh, uh, which are smaller research unities. Uh, at the moment it uh, 
uh, as 100 research and consultancy projects uh, active, and uh, about 35% of these are uh, research projects with international funding or leadership. So it's quite an international uh, research center, and is today it's it's also a, a good example of just that. Um, so uh, <coughs> just don't want to keep uh, to keep. <laughs> I want to close shortly. So uh, just also to let you know that we our research is also uh, a way in which we uh, train uh, future researchers. So SES is also involved in PhD programs. We participate in twelve PhD programs. Just to give an idea of the kind of uh, training we conduct here, we have PhD programs on democracy in the 21st century, human rights in contemporary society, sociology of the state, law and justice. These are just three out of the 12 that we that we um, uh, organize. Um, this is, was just to give you a short idea about our research center. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, you want to get to know each other, so I just wish you a very inspiring day and that uh, uh, this um, synergy event is really the beginning of the building of partnerships, um, of, of uh, finding new research agendas, complementarities, um, and that indeed that this, this day will be much more than the sum of the five consortia and that you can really um, uh, establish not, not only a fruitful research agenda but also to contribute to such challenging issues which are um, uh, the political <laughs> challenges to democracy that we are indeed facing. So um, good, good, good work and uh, I hope uh, your research really helps us to build more democratic societies that we really, really need this. So good morning and thank you. <laughs> Now, Angelita Silva from uh, CINEIC. She is the coordinator of the Neuropsychological Assessment and Aging Process at the Center. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you, Professor Lisette. Um, uh, it is a pleasure <coughs> to be here. First, representing our director, Professor Daniel Vigio. And I'm here as part of the research group where uh, Protemo and where Lisette is. Uh, is uh, involved, which is focused in all these process development processes, etc. So I, uh, as uh, Professor Anna mentioned, I will give a, bit, a brief overview of what we, we do in our research center and also how, how we are very happy and very pleased to be able to contribute and to gather these uh, synergies as part of the in improvement of, of the work our research uh, center does. So the, our research center is focused on neuropsychology and cognitive behavioral interventions and uh, is a, a unit that was uh, born in 2003 and now it's rated as excellent by FCT. And uh, the main goals are very uh, connected with these uh, consortia who are uh, gathered here because is the first main goal is the study of emotional and cognitive processes who are involved in health, decisions, psychopathology and aging. So it's a very broad way to understand the study of emotions and of cognition. It also it's very devoted to build uh, uh, tools of assessment to assess all these processes, so neuropsychological assessment and psychological assessment tools and psychometric uh, studies, and also um, 
interventions that are focused, that, that are impactful for, uh, for uh, lay populations and for communities. So the idea is that most of research that is done in the CINEC, it has a very translational and impactful uh, objectives in its, in its research. So we all come around 170 researchers of whom 60 are uh, senior researchers, PhD, integrated PhD members, as we mean, with active involvement both on, on basic research, on basic psychology, and also on applied psychology. So we are organized in four research groups, as uh, also Anna mentioned in SES, uh, who are focused on bits of all these big uh, objectives that I mentioned before. So we have a group focused on cognitive and behavioral processes and change, we, we are, which are very connected with the, uh, how psychology, psychopathology is developed and the, what, what are the risk and protective factors for mental health. Uh, others are another research group which is the relationships development and health which is focused in prevention and in understanding processes of uh, health psychology, uh, neuropsychological assessment and aging processes which is the group I am coordinating which is focused on the development of these neuropsychological tools to assess both cognitive and emotional processes and also the trajectories, the development trajectory trajectories of both uh, health and disease. And finally, our basic science group, Cognition, Brain and Behaviour, uh, which is focused in the understanding the, bas the basics of all these processes using uh, experimental psychology uh, tools and, and techniques. So, uh, as, as you can see from these four research groups, we have uh, um, a very wide research center in the field of psychology and education, so we have this, this uh, uh, large overview. We, we produce both basic research and we have uh, the ProAction Lab which helps an ERC and an error share to, to develop neuroscience, basic neuroscience as part of the grounds of all the research we do with potential translation and impact. And also we have several applied services like the clinical services, etc. that do this translational work and that effectively work with communities in the, in the field. So the CINEC is known to do uh, in, uh, practical and impactful research for communities and for lay population is, and this is the way our, our research unit is a national reference in this field of uh, translational and applied research in psychology. So, and because of that, it is very uh, natural that we welcome and embrace the, both the Protemo and all these synergies that you are starting here today, because in fact, it was not a field that was very de uh, much developed within CINEIC some years ago in the beginning, which was more concerned on the clinical practice. But now, with the, this uh, uh, growing interest in developing consortia, which is the way how CINEIC and I know that the remaining research groups understand that impactful research is not possible to do only looking at one perspective only, so we really need to look at several perspectives to have both multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary perspectives. And so the CINEIC has now several consortia and several, we have 15 projects with international impact with which are consortia uh, projects uh, uh, currently uh, occurring. And uh, in fact, all this alignment with both uh, um, with the strategic plan of CINEIC, of the, the, the research you are starting now, it's, it's really important for us because all this understanding of the impact of psychological processes like emotions in decision making and in politics, it's really important for the research we do in terms of this translation to changes in politics, to changes in recommendations, etc. So this is really very important for us and we are very happy to welcome you here. I'm very happy that uh, Lizette brought to our <laughs> research center and the other researchers, Professor Anna um, and, uh, and Luciana and other researchers from CINEC who brought to our center this very 
attractive and very impactful project and I wish you all very good work and that you really continue to do that even after this funding runs out because we really sometimes and we think that at Sinead because we often do impactful research but then the sustainability of research sometimes uh, lacks because of this uh, trying to get funding all the way and so it's really it's really hard to do impactful research that is sustainable so i really wish you all with these synergies that you work together in order for all the work you do to be sustainable for the populations thank you very much